the time when they advertised the post that I, that I filled, they had a small group of economists within a very distinguished Department of Social Policy that had actually come down from Bedford College and was one of the most distinguished departments of social policy in the country. At the interview, I was asked the question, should we continue with economics within social policy or should it set off and have its new department? And it's at the spur of the moment, sort of became blindingly clear that in order to have the ambitions of having a first-rate economics department, it had to be a department. I don't actually remember um, my first lecture here. What I do remember, and this was one of the good things then, and it came about because there were a limited number of students, and in part because I was involved with all the open days, I sort of recruited each of these students individually and got to know them individually. They were family. And there were plus sides of that when a student went on to something, and I still get, you know, Every academic says this, but I get contacted by students from 10, 20 years ago saying, remember me, and I get that from all over you know, the world, not just from here, but from France, from India. Students write and they say, I was in your class. Quality, 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 total focus on everything we did right from the start. When I say it was imp possible to hire temporary lecturers. We had a quality standard at the time was that we wanted people who could get jobs at the LSE and UCL, and sometimes after a year or two here, that's exactly what they did. People would come from established departments such as Essex and Warwick, and essentially we set those standards and maintained them through 20 years, and that's how it developed. Because we applied exactly the same principle to the undergraduate program. When we started, it was extremely difficult to get students to come here. I joke and say that we would go to the local pubs and see if we could just find anyone to sign up for the program. There was one odd proviso to that, as we discovered at the end of clearing that we could get failed veterinary, failed dentists, failed medical students with three A's who didn't quite meet the four A's required to get into uh, those programs. What we did from the start was say that the undergraduate program had to be a quality that was the best in the country.